my name is Gerard Zolgader. I'm a freelance writer and curator based in Berlin. And I was invited to be the curator of the first uh, national pavilion of the United Arab Emirates. Uh, what I came up with was the World Fair theme because I was interested in uh, confronting the, the national issue, the national pavilion issue, which is kind of an, um, an embarrassment in the arts because we all consider ourselves so cosmopolitan. I brought up the World Fair issue with everyone that I approached. Uh, for example, the uh, featured artist Lamia Gargash, she responded by saying she would do uh, an extensive shoot on one-star hotels in the country. My name is Lamia Gargash and I'm an artist from the United Arab Emirates and I'm representing my country at its first pavilion in the, at the Venice Biennial. The One Star Hotel series is merely showing another side to the UAE that people don't really know of because people always associate us with the biggest and the best and the, the, the seven star hotels and, and I wanted to show a more intimate, humane side to, uh, to the country that people probably have never seen before, even regional people and I'm not just talking about the international audience. The reactions of the uh, hoteliers were, and they would always ask me to shoot something that was some other fancy five-star hotel and they didn't understand the idea was that I was mainly interested in them and what their rooms had to offer in comparison to uh, the other bigger hotels. It's a great honor to be here and to be um, to be representing my country as well. A lot of people ask me what does it feel like to be what does it feel like being a woman representing your country? I always get that question and I feel that I mean regardless of whether I was a man or a woman I still think it's a great honor to be here and to have people see my work and, and um, um, you know, for people to be interested in what we have to say. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, my name is Dr. Lamise Hamdan. I'm the commissioner of the UAE Pavilion. It's the first time that the UAE is participating and the first time a Gulf country is also participating. I think because Venice Biennale is a contemporary art platform, it's not really about fitting in, it's about pushing the envelope maybe and taking risks. And for us, for the UAE, maybe in a Western sense, you won't see it as taking risks, but it is. And it's not about giving artists a chance, it's about a certain theme, a certain uh, point of view of a curator, which is very singular, and the artist that fits that. There's an inherent contradiction within the way art has been internationalized which is quite difficult to deal with. On the one hand, um, we expect art to, uh, to, to pop up just miraculously uh, you know, all over the world uh, and be recognizable as contemporary art. Um, and then when we realize that's a little naive, uh, we start to realize that you know, actually it is uh, something which is being globalized with a certain measure of what you could call epistemic violence uh, and then the artists across the world somehow grapple with this, reinscribe it, reinterpret it, um, but it's not a level playing field and not everybody has the same point of departure. So from, for artists from the Middle East, for example, they're much more aware of these contradictions than an artist from London or Berlin.